will have brought this offense in a tough spot down inside their own five. They'll start on the ground with Dobbins. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. Try to find some space to operate, and now they'll have it. A gain of 12, a big first down to get away from the end zone. I guess it's good we can't really read the mind of the defensive coordinator now, huh? Had him pinned back there deep, give up that run. Can't be happy. Yeah, whatever was whatever's in his mind right now, we probably couldn't say over the air. So a little breathing room now. First and 10 at the 17. They'll set up to throw. Steps away to his left. Now he's going to let it go deep left side. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So they take a decent shot, CD, and the flag comes out for pass interference. You have a little DPI, as they like to call it, in the business, right? And the farther you get downfield, the more frenetic things get, and the more calm and controlled you have to remain as a defender. That was a little bit of a slip there, and the penalty will go against him. Another run here with Dobbins. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. The Cowboys at 500, three and three through the season's first six weeks. And they come in with fresh legs. They got the extra time off thanks to an early season open week. And usually your hope is that your open week comes a little bit later in the year. But when you get a chance to get your fresh legs back, you have to take that time and run with it. And that's what they're trying to get done here. Dobbins running out of the gun. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try to run for the Dobbins. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. As a linebacker, you're taught to stay just slightly behind the ball carrier just in case he makes a cutback. But when you find the gap, shoot it, and he found it all right. Took it straight into the backfield and made the tackle for a loss. He'll drop to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Schultz. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. So give them the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate giving up. They'll try to draw here with Dobbins. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Cowboys are on the board first here on the road in Tampa. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they interplay here in this one on a two-game win streak. Plus, they come off the open week as well. So this is a team that has a lot of things working in their favor. Oh, it certainly is. And let's face it, this team is playing so well. The worry now is that after a few extra days off, they'll be sluggish coming into this game. So I've heard that he spent more time in practice working what they call good versus good, starting offense versus starting defense. They want a fast start in this next game. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. A couple of first downs have him to the 40 now on first and 10. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. 
So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and that'll make it second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quicker. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. I'm trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Schultz. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks' 38-yard line. A nice pickup of 23 on the third down conversion. A give up the middle to Dobbins. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. They'll go again with Dobbins. 86 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. They'll run up the gut with Dobbins. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Back to back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. They'll try to run with Dobbins. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. His seventh touchdown on the ground and tenth overall. And the Cowboys go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Another impressive drive. So they're two for two, two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words has really worked its way into About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball. So they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on the... That's into a crowd and intercepted. And the Buccaneers are going to take possession of the football. take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They so the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Going to take a shot for Gallup. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the 5. Touchdown, Cowboys! C.D. Lamb in the final seconds of the first half. And the Cowboys will extend their lead here just before halftime. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close, and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that... 
This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. Second half starts with a run by Dobbins. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. 115 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. They'll take it past the 40 to the 41, second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. A shotgun snap and a give to Dobbins. And he's able to get across midfield and down into Buccaneer territory. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's a give to Dobbins. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. They're pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. Well, the crowd doesn't like that. Was going to bring up fourth. Now it's first. <laughs> they don't like it at all, do they? It brings them back into it, but really not in a positive way. Now they're angry. That can jangle the team a little bit as well. Pass interference ruined that series of downs for them. Now a handoff for Dobbins. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. That's a really nice play, being able to stack that one up. But they get back in the huddle. He's got to he's got to tell his guys up front. Great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one yard gain, and just a couple yards there down to the 17. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take him in short, steady bursts. On third down, here's Dobbins. And he'll only get this to the 17, well shy of what he needed. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pick up through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. What an excellent end result for them. But let's go back to the decision, first of all, to go for it all on fourth down. A lot of pressure on the quarterback's shoulders, but they knew he could handle it. Makes the right read there, gets the ball to his receiver. They get the first down. It's now first and goal. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three. Second and three. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Multiple defenders getting home there for a loss of 11. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Forced out to his left. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Their mobile, agile quarterback. His third touchdown of the game, number 14 on the year. And the Cowboys are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. Well, they were backed up on third and goal, and when you saw... About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. 
been a very strong performance for them really on both sides of the football the turnover on downs the most recent example and now obviously they're in a great spot here yeah, if you're over on the bench right now you're shaking hands with your teammate you're hugging him give him a little dab been a big big performance for them now you just don't get careless take care of the ball on the way out and they'll take him down at the 31 yard line 155 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Dance into his left. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Sliding out of the pocket. Spins past him. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Well, this has certainly turned into a showcase game for what he can do on the ground because they're just continuing to give him chances to run it, and he's earning every additional carry by putting up positive yardage on each run. Second and one. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. I'm actually looking at this play with defensive eyes here, partner, because they were still laser focused on him after his earlier exploits on this drive. I think they went back to the well just a little bit too soon. He got across the line of scrimmage, but they certainly weren't giving up much more than that. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll run here with Dobbins. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Out to his left. He opted to go with a scramble. Gets two yards, and now it's fourth. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no point.